There we go. There we go. Is it on yet? Yeah, she's on. <laughs> Penny Lou who midnight. What is going on guys? So the footage you just saw is us earlier today and uh, we were out at a little pond just outside Billings. Uh, nothing special. Kyle, you want to kind of elaborate on the Yahoo pond? Yahoo pond? Yippee pond? Guinea pond? Guinea. <laughs> there you go. Right in the seat. Just digging it. It's not drag up, mate. Might break one off. There's one. That was shallow. Daddy That's strikes. Oh, strikes again. It's really key to play with your depth. Let him do it. There you go. Gonna get you all froze. Come on, give me just fucking one more. Back in you go. Just a little pile of trout trouts. Catch them probably, I don't know, you guys saw. Ten, nine, ten inch trout probably. Yeah. Somewhere in there. Maybe 12. Nah, yeah, maybe one of them. So the point of this episode is going to be we just, I, more or less, just paid for a bunch of stuff at Shields, and we're gonna unbox it for you guys. Okay, well let's get started with the big stuff, probably the biggest one. This is the Jason Mitchell Bigfoot XL400T. Not much for you guys, but it's a huge ice hut, insulated, it'll fit four, four people probably comfortably, eh, I'd say. So, probably a necessity for all ice fishermen. I chose this one because of the price, it was just solid. It's like $379, so quality deal. Uh, you guys will see this in the uh, the future episodes. If you guys want to see any detailed reviews on these items, just comment below and uh, we'll do a more detailed video on the individual items. This episode is just going to be a overall review of the purchases, so that's the first one. Next one's going to be the uh, Eskimo. Kyle, you want to kind of elaborate on, the, on this guy? Uh well, it's a 10 inch auger, runs off propane. It's actually a killer deal with a price on that, too. She's an Eskimo, built for cold. So, yeah, we're excited to get this one going. Oh, yeah. Kyle's only got that 8 inch Strike King gasoline guy, so dumps gasoline all over the ice in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> so, definitely the ice hut and the ice auger, two staples of any ice fisherman's probably oh, yeah. lineup of. You gotta have an auger. Yeah. Of goodie. Okay, so we got the auger, the ice hut, and we got the Vexler now. Us ice fishermen have just been doing the uh, the regular old school drop and drop and pray. Yeah. <laughs> this is the FL8 SE Gens Pack. This is the standard basic Vlexar, Vexlar flasher unit. Pretty stoked about it. You've never used one, have you? No, I'm I'm super excited. We're gonna learn very quickly how this guy works. I'm gonna actually un undo this. There was one time I did a whole review and I didn't press play. <laughs> and I had to wrap everything back up and redo it. And that's probably a transducer type instrument. That's your charger. Charger. Here's this unit right here. Quality little deal. I'm, I'm excited to use it. Oh, I'm stoked. Just a basic, absolute basic unit. Gain. I'm not quite sure what any of these words mean. Gain, <laughs> gain rejection, I don't know. Came with a little sticker. Like I said again, guys, if you guys want to see oh, a uh, sick, more detailed so easy. <laughs> expansion of these videos, just comment below and we'll get a detailed version of this. Your fish come up so like dominant, and then you got your hard reds right for your bottom. Yeah, your bottom. Yep. Yeah, Read your jig. You're just gonna see your jig bouncing. There. That's. Oh, it's gonna be. They're kind of. I bet it's gonna feel like a 1980s video game. And if any of you guys have tips on how to use one of these, once again, comment below. Four days after Christmas, more unboxings. So I also bought a five-gallon bucket with a little camouflage seat on top. Bucket's just got a little insulator in it. Oh yeah, let's put that vexler in it. Should just sit. Maybe put it upside like fingers are gonna do in the ice. What? It's not the most comfortable thing in the world, but this one helps. that's like seven hundred dollars. That's also got the out of depth range too. Like I said, guys, this is like a thirteen hundred dollar unboxing. Just those three items was like a thousand bucks. Which really, realistically, if you're trying to get set up to you go can, ice fish, and that's that's cheap. It's kind of what you need, you know? A little ice scoop, metal one. There's plastic ones, there's little neoprene ones. Just go with the plastic, or hard metal. You're dealing with some hard water. You don't want nothing to break or bend, you know? <laughs> Got two tip-ups, as you guys know. Gotta have those eventually. Which one is this again? 20 pound, this is that green Viz braid, or the green Virgis. It's black, dude. Black. 
Black rig. <coughs> 20 pound. Looking for them toothies, you know. Yeah, well, we got little, little weights for that exact purpose. Fish. We got a four pack of propane bottles because the auger runs on propane. We got the uh, Mr. Buddy heater. Once again, runs on propane, so the entire setup runs on propane. That's pretty, pretty nice to have. It's like having six guns all shoot the same bullet. It's convenient, you know? <laughs> I got some uh, Trilene Micro Ice, four pound. Just a perch colored little, perch like little jigger wrap. Just the three pack of jigs. Nothing special, different sizes. Mummified wax worms. These things are cool. Right there, mummified wax worm. Attachment for the rod. Little um, extenders for your tip. Titanium spring bobber. We'll show you how these guys go on in a minute here. This is all it is, just a little ex wire bobber that comes off the tip of your rod. The line goes through it and it, it helps detect the subtle bites, the finesse bites. So, I don't know if you guys can see that. Just a little bobber stopper. You can retract it, pull it out and in. Oh, it's like it's a spring bobber. Spring bobber, yeah. What did I say? Alright guys, well we're gonna sign out here. Hopefully you enjoyed today's footage of our little trout excursion. The big one saucy slabs. <laughs> <laughs> so story of my life. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a great day. Stay tuned for more. Be sure to subscribe, leave a comment. We'll see you later.